This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the President and VP of Exploration for Standard Uranium, Mr. Sean Hilliker. Sean, it is great to have you on. How are you today, sir? Doing really well, Gerardo. Thanks for having me back. Well, listen, let's jump right into it. Uranium seems to have put a, a pretty pretty solid bottom right around the low to mid 80s. I suspect that we're going to see much higher prices here in the interim. And Standard is positioned really, really well with a number of catalysts here in 2024. So I'm a biased shareholder, of course. I thought I'd have you on, get an update to see how things are coming along. You have multiple projects that are going to see activity this year. So I thought it was a perfect time. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, uh, you know, it's going to be the biggest year yet for standard uranium. Um, you know, we've really delivered on our, our new business model, incorporating the project generation side of things since last summer. So we've got three drill programs that are fully funded this year, Atlantic Canary and Sundog. So, we are actually just wrapping up our inaugural drill program on the Atlantic project as we speak. So we're looking forward to updating the market later this week uh, with our preliminary results for that. The program went really well, you know, on time and under budget. So we're, we're excited to update people on that. And uh, we just put out some news this morning, updating people on Canary. So we are slated to start that project uh, early May. So that'll also be the inaugural drill program on Canary. So really excited to get the drill spinning over there as well. For those that are not familiar to the standard story, I am a new shareholder, right? I got involved a few months back um, and participated in a financing, wrote a check for it. But for those that are not familiar with the standard story, can you give a brief overview of what 2024 looks like? Because again, as I mentioned, and I hate to overemphasize it, but it's going to be a busy, busy year with multiple shots on goal as far as discovery potential goes. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Standard went public in May of 2020, so we're relatively new, but uh, very experienced board and management team. We've built a fantastic technical team on the on the geology side of things. So we're, like you said, we got a lot of shots on goal this year. So since uh, last year, we've expanded our portfolio to 11 projects all the way across the basin. Um, you know, in the first couple of years of exploring, we were mainly focused on our flagship Davidson River project, which is over across the street from NextGen's Aero deposit and Fission's Triple R deposit. So we've done a few modest programs on that one and then drilled our Sundog project a couple of times up by Uranium City. So now, since expanding our business model to incorporate, you know, bringing in some partners that are interested in getting into the Athabasca Basin space, we have some really good real estate for that. So People have been, you know, knocking on our door nonstop to, to try and get in and, and join us on our journey here to push our non-core projects forward. So those are some of the ones that I've been mentioning. So Atlantic started off the year for us. Uh, that's over on the east side of the Athabasca Basin. So our first drill program over on the east side, that's uh, just north of the Hurricane Uranium deposit. So that's, you know, our exploration thesis so over on the east side for Atlantic, Canary and Ascent. Those are our three main east side projects. And then, like I said, we've expanded and staked some more ground over on the east side as well. So we've got a nice pipeline here of everything from, you know, early stage green fields exploration up to drill ready projects. So with uh, bringing in our partners, like you said, it's going to be the biggest year yet. So we've got three fully funded drill programs, like I mentioned, at Atlantic, Canary and Sundog. So two basically back to back over on the east side being Atlantic and Canary. And then we'll be going up with our partners at Aero Energy to drill Sundog again here. So currently, we've got a lot of things going on. We're just wrapping up at Atlantic, like I said. The geos and drillers will come back for a couple of weeks and get a little bit of rest. And uh, we'll gear up to, to hit Canary as well. So we've secured our vendors for that. Everything is all lined up and ready to go to go drill Canary for the first time. And then immediately after that, we're going to be heading up to the Uranium City area to drill Sundog once again. So right now, we've got some geophysics uh, underway at Sundog to help refine our targets for this summer. Uh, we're running a, a high-resolution B10 Plus survey with Geotech. Um, it'll give us some really good resolution on the conductors there and really add to our targeting toolbox on uh, when we go back to Sundog this summer. Following that, uh, we're looking at doing a program on our Ascent project. Now we 
We announced a term sheet with Summit Fusion Party on that one. Uh, since that, we've actually doubled the size of that project. So we've expanded it through low-cost staking once again to cover more of the edge of the basin. That one's up in the northeast of the basin. Um, so really excited to push that one along, and we'll see if we can get a deal done and uh, sign a definitive agreement to push that one forward this year. And then following that, we're going to be looking to do you know, another capital raise here to fund our Davidson River project. So we haven't been back to drill that one since 2021. It's our flagship for a reason. You know, the blue sky and torque on that one is exceptional. Looking for that high-grade basement hosted uranium over on that side in the southwest. So we're going to be coming back to the market here, raise some cash to go potentially drill that this fall. So we could be looking at four, maybe even five drill programs this year, which is pretty bananas. And uh, like you said, lots of lots of shots on goal and lots of news flow and catalysts for people to look forward to throughout 2024. That's a lot to like for a company with a market cap of roughly 14 million Canadian. Sean, looking forward to having you back on. Really looking forward to the news out of Atlantic. Great to hear that program came in on time and under budget. I'm an Atco Mining shareholder as well. Um, it has an option to earn into 75% of that project. So obviously I'm heavily biased um, for good results there and, and, and really eager to get you back on a chat Atlantic and the rest of 2024. Thank you again for that update. Should be a fun, fun year for us. Absolutely, Gerardo. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. All right. Chat soon. Cheers. Yep. Take care. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.